Hey guys, it is Brido here, and welcome back to our Carlisle United series. This is episode 8, and today's episode we have three games for you guys today, starting off with a game against Lane Orient, then moving on to two more against Shrewsbury and Stevenage. So, three teams that are lower to the bottom of the table, and a great opportunity for us to pick up as many points as we possibly can. Starting off this game against Lane Orient, I just want to talk a little bit about our team, and essentially, you know what, we've been doing pretty good. It's kind of one of those funny situations that, you know, we've been going through, uh, the paces of playing our games, and comparatively, I've talked a little bit about this before, but comparatively to the uh, like the higher leagues, there really isn't that you know need to uh, win every single game. It is good to win every single game if you can, but at least in League One, it's really been one of those situations that we try and win our games, try and not give up points, try and get the draws. We've been doing pretty good, but we really have dropped quite a bit of points. And um, even though we've done that, though, we've still sat in the playoffs posi or positions, and we've done quite a good job to start the season. So things are going well, and our, our team's doing a, a pretty good job. So I'm happy to see that we're still sitting up there, and we're getting you know deeper into the season, which is definitely a good thing that we're still hanging around those spots because we don't want to be falling off at this point. Um, but going into this game against Lane Orion here, they were a side that we were hoping to beat, and uh, you know early on in this game they get a goal here in the 20th minute, off the post, right back to Mooney. He puts that one in the net. It is a 1-0 game for Leighton Orient, and it was one of those things that went into these three games as well. And I was saying to myself, you know, okay, we got three games here against teams that we really should be beating, and really should be beating. It's not, you know, uh, a question. It's really just a statement. Um, but it was one of those things that I kind of hyped myself up for the game so much, thinking, okay, we're going to go into these games, we're going to get plenty of goals, and it's going to be an absolute, uh, it's going to be easy. And, uh, you know, really to start off this one, you could see there, they get the early goal. We were able to counter with that goal there. And I was pretty happy with it, and I'm happy to be tied at this point. Now, we get a header goal there. And, you know, what the thing was for me is I really, when I started playing FIFA 13, I could not score those. And now I'm at the point where I'm getting lots of those goals. And, uh, you know, I've had comments in my Liverpool series about, or at least it was one comment, but I, I wanted to touch on a little bit about, you know, the way I score goals. And um, I just wanted to say essentially that, you know, I really do try and mix up my goals, I really try and mix up my opportunities, but I really, when I'm playing these, I'm trying to win games, I'm trying to do the best I can to get our team uh, those three points, and, you know, when it does come down to it, I'll take any goal possible. If it goes off her butt, if it goes off her head, if we put a back heel in, I don't care. If it's a volley, any of those are just as pretty for me. Uh, so if we get two headers here in this game, I'm completely happy with them, and, I mean... You know, I, there will be points where we score different goals, but I've got my kind of a, my, my setup, my plays that I like to do, and also, you know, the thing that I'm finding really effective, maybe not so much in my Carlisle series, but using the wingers, coming up the wings, even with Redmond. Redmond is our real star player this season, and he's the one guy who can do this with Carlisle. It's coming up those wings, bringing one into the box, and kind of letting, you know, the chaos ensue from there. Um, so, you know, if I do score goals that are the same, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, mix it up, obviously, but my... Uh, first thing that I always focus on when I go into each game is trying to win the game. That's my one uh, thing that I'm always trying to do. So it's one of those things that if it does happen, if I score a nice goal, then I'm happy. And I'm happy that I'm switching up for you guys. But at the same time, too, I'm also just trying to get those goals in the net. It doesn't matter how they go in. I'm happy whatever way they go in. Uh, so, yeah, that, that, that's kind of just my stance regarding that. But we do get the win against Leighton Orion here. So I'm happy with that result. We get the three points. And you can see from the table here, we're actually sitting in second spot right now behind Sheffield United, so uh, pretty good overall, and I'm pretty happy. Preston Norfan had a great start to the season, then started to dip off a bit, so we've been able to kind of capitalize on that, and everybody else has just kind of, you know, done all right. They haven't done amazing, you know. We're, I think it's we're at around 20 uh, games thus far into the season, and we're still sitting at around 35 points, so you can see that there has been plenty of points dropped. We've had like six or seven, I think it's probably six draws and then two losses, so We've dropped points in eight games, which is a lot of points to drop, but we're still sitting, you know, near top of the table, which, as I've said, I'm very happy with. And, um, you know, the one thing that we really need to do is when we get into the FA Cup, that's the one thing that we got to uh, do well in because, I mean, it, that's one way that we're going to be able to make some money, which we can use in the transfer window if we can because we've kind of uh, fallen on that. That was the only thing that we really haven't done that well this season because the J. Payne Trophy, we uh, went out quite early there. And as well, uh, in uh, the the League Cup, we didn't do too good. Either we lost to Fleetwood Town and we lost to Crawley Town. So two losses there, not too happy about those. But that's our next goal to really uh, you know do well in the FA Cup if we can because then we can at least have one domestic cup that we had a good run in. And we're going to try and uh, 
do that when the, the game comes up, uh, probably in the near future as we're getting closer and closer to that date. But in the meantime, our main focus now is on the league because, because that's really uh, all we do have to focus on. And, uh, you know, with our positioning being the way it is, our goal is to get into one of those promotion spots, not worry about the playoffs. The playoffs are a sticky mess that we do not want to be a part of. If we get into that, then we're just, you know, playing with chance. I don't want to play with chance. Maybe it'd make a good episode. You guys can see the live commentary of us fighting for those playoff spots and then playing a playoff game, me screaming if we score and then crying if we lose. But, uh, you know, I'd rather uh, avoid that if we can. So in this game here, you know, we're trying to get that goal, trying to get the opportunity to go for us, and it just isn't happening. We got chances, but uh, Morgan there for Shrewsbury gets the goal. They were, you know, plenty of headers for their team. They were really just putting into the box, trying to get those chances. Pretty much all the opportunities I, hi I highlighted for them in this game were those type of chances, and um, they were really limiting us to, uh, to our opportunities. In the 75th minute there, Bittencourt really should have put that one away, not able to do the trick. And, I mean, he's the one guy that I've actually kind of been a little disappointed with because we've had great success with Redmond. Bittencourt hasn't really uh, shown up. Butlin's done a good job, though, and you can see there was a nice chance there. But the game does end. It is a 1-0 win for uh, Shrewsbury, so we do drop three points in this game. It is unfortunate, but... We'll have to take it. We got the three points from the other game, and I mean, you know, we haven't really been uh, burned for uh, dropping too many points thus far this season, as I've said. So it is a loss that we probably want to, you know, shake off pretty quickly because it's not the best uh, team to lose to. But at the same time, as well, we are still sitting near the top there. We're uh, now back into fourth, but we're only one point away from Preston and Sheffield United. So uh, that's that's the semi-positive from that scenario. But we do have one more game for this episode, and that is against Stevenage, and they're another team at the lower end of the table. So another side for us to uh, try and dig our paws into, try and get all those three points out of. And as I said, I put a little bit too much emphasis on myself uh, going into these games. I thought, you know, these teams are going to be easy. They're not, they're not top of the table sides. They're going to be easy challenges for us to take down. And I think that's probably been one of the biggest problems I've had with uh, playing in League One this season is that I put way too much emphasis on the fact that there's a team that's really good and there's a team that's really bad. And really, there are teams that are three stars and there are teams that are two stars in League One, maybe even one and a half. But there isn't that big of a difference. You know, you look at playing in uh, the Premier League, you've got teams that are like Manchester City or Manchester United, Chelsea, that are, these are five star teams that they've, you know, they've hit the five star mark and they're way above that too. They're these sides that you play against them and you're like, oh crap, you just, you know, batten down the hatches, things are going to get bad. And then you have other sides that are lower end of the table, like a Southampton or something like that. They're like, yeah, this, these are three and a half star sides, you know, maybe even three star sides. We can probably take these ones down. And there is that definite difference. But in League One, really, I mean, I look at Preston North End, I look at Sheffield United, I think Sheffield United are probably the best team that we've played this season. But other than that, I mean, like, they're a tough side, maybe a little bit tougher. But when you look at the bottom... Of the barrel and the top of the barrel it's not that big of a difference and you know kind of just had to play a similar style for most of these games maybe play a little bit more defensively sound against the tougher teams but still kind of keep that in mind that these teams are all around the same area so you know going into this game against Stevenage uh, uh, got some opportunities there in the first half but not the the best half overall uh, we did kind of pretty much control the play though as we Controlled about even possession, but got only uh, all our shots on net. I was, I think, of six uh, total shots and three on target. They didn't even get a shot on uh, on target for themselves. So, pretty good there. The only downside of the first half was the fact that Lee Miller uh, went off of injury. He was injured. We were playing him with a small injury, just trying to see if we can get some of uh, our scoring going because we had Madden out with an injury as well as you saw in uh, the earlier game there. So. We were struggling with the fact that we really had no one to score goals, and uh, we get a chance here of Ballon late on in this game, but he is not able to make that one happen. So, unfortunately, once again, this game uh, goes out and it's a draw, just kind of lackluster on the goal front. And, um, you know, as I said, we were playing against weaker sides, but the fact that Madden and Miller were out were two big reasons that we weren't able to pull out as many points as we wanted to out of these three games. But, you know, we got some more games coming up. We got a game against Preston North End episode, next episode. So hopefully you can pull something out of that. And you can see Bournemouth as well. We're going to be playing them in the FA Cup. So interesting stuff to look forward to for next episode. That is the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for more Carlisle United in the future. And let's take a look at what those results mean to the league table. At the top of the table remain Preston North End with 36 points. In second, Coventry City with 35 points. In third, Sheffield United with 35 points. 
In fourth, Carlisle United with 35 points. In fifth, Swindon Town with 34 points. In sixth, Scunthorpe United with 31 points. In seventh, Milton Keynes Dons with 30 points. In eighth, Doncaster Rovers with 30 points. Bottom of the table, Crew Alexandra with four points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Brentford with 15 points. Third bottom, Tranmere Rovers with 15 points. Fourth bottom, Stevenage with 19 points. Fifth bottom, Walsall with 19 points.